Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here, and welcome back to another part of my F1 Manager 22 career mode here for the Australian Grand Prix. If you guys did miss the previous one at Jeddah, then be sure to go check the one out before you see this one, because at the end of that one, I came to one strong conclusion. Valtteri Bottas needs to hand in his P45. I am done with the constant lockups. Yes, Gasly has locked up a couple of times, but it's not been race-ending. You know, he doesn't break his front wing go into a wall when he locks up. Generally speaking, maybe loses a bit of time, but still you know, is able to get a solid, solid result. But Bottas twice now in this season, back to back, has had a lockup. That's cost him his entire race. You know, Bahrain, it was early doors and completely took him out of the running. At, uh, at Jeddah, it was a little bit better. He was able to get back into the race uh, and still get some points with a very long one stop. But it was still not enough to the point where Mercedes outscored us. And you know, in a season where we were hoping to look even further than P3 in the championship, we're now looking at still fighting Mercedes again for this championship. And then we've also got the added threat of the McLaren boys look pretty damn good this time around. McLaren as a team clearly have a much quicker car. Even Alpha Tauri have a quicker car compared to like Alpine, who were the ones bothering us a little bit at the end of last season. So basically, we need a driver that's not going to make those mistakes. Even if they're lower rated than Bottas by a couple, I think if they if they don't make those mistakes, they'll still end up getting a better position than him. And I think just generally, you know, we need to freshen things up here, keep everything as fresh as we can. So uh, I made my decision. He's going. We're, we're scouting some choices, and I'm going to go through those right now. So I had previously already scouted Lando Norris at McLaren, but as you can see, his buyout fee is astronomical compared to what we can really afford. 13.6 million because he's locked into a three-year contract with McLaren, so he's not really an option. We've got Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon, the two former Alpine teammates. Of course, Alonso is now actually somehow at Alpha Tauri, the junior Red Bull team, and Ocon still at Alpine, scanning both of them because I think they could be suitable candidates. They're only one overall lower than Bottas. Obviously, I know Fernando is 41 years old, but he's still got it, and that's IRL and in this game, but also Ocon has been growing. I believe he used to be four, uh, 85, and he now is up to 86 in the last couple episodes uh, at the end of season one, So, and he's only 26. He's actually younger by one year than Gasly, and is one overall higher than him, and it would kind of be nice to have the two Frenchmen together like they're going to be in real life in Alpine here today in this game with Audi. So I think that's the other option, but I'm going to see what the scout says, what the contract and salary say, because also it will be a financial decision as well, because it's going to cost, you know, uh, well, 6.9 million to break Valtteri's co a contract. So I'm not taking this decision lightly. This is a lot of money to spend on swapping out the drivers, but there is no point pouring all this money into the upgrades if this guy just keeps locking up. Say what you want about the Haas decision, etc, etc. At the end of the day, guys, remember, it is simply just a game. It's not that deep. I literally, I also just want to keep the series fresh, basically, and bring in some new injection into the series, basically. But uh, yeah, it was definitely a difficult race for us. From the end of Jeddah, uh, in terms of development, we've got, ooh, plus two on our head of aero. Okay, I'm going to go for cooling because brake cooling has been an issue for us. So plus two on that. Thank you very much. So that will uh, improve uh, and optimize the aerodynamic design of the uh, engine or brake cooling. So brake cooling is still something that is a weakness of our car. So we'll continue to design and develop things for that. So we're going to go ahead and design another bit of suspension. We've still already got those designs for side pods and underfloors on the way. But a new suspension again. And again, it's going to be all about brake cooling. But I've got no hours left of our CFD and wind tunnel, but it still be it will still be some sort of improvement. Literally skewing everything to try and get brake cooling as high as we can. So this will go from 64.78% to 75.38%. That is a huge leap. That's going to be a step in the right direction. We've only got two engineers available, so it is going to take a bit of time, but we could also rush it as well, which will take 19 days, and I'm going to do that. I'm not going to go for intense. We'll rush this one because I need these, I need these improvements now because this is an issue that's affecting us every race. So we've got a regulation vote, minor technical changes for 2024. So we can either vote for minimal regulation changes or vote for moderate 
regulation changes. So minor technical uh, uh, regulation changes will reduce all teams' design expertise regarding the affected car parts. Uh, and then I assume a moderate one will be even more. So basically, do I want the cars to carry over more into next year? Or do I want drastic change? This changes everything. Chassis, front wing, rear wing, side pods. This is a huge, huge change. And 10% on everything. That's quite large. But there is opportunity here to really set ourselves up maybe for that next season. But that also means that if we committed to that, if we committed to doing a mo voting for a moderate change, let's say that came in, we're going to have to do everything we can to research into that all year long, which means less upgrades, tangible upgrades for us this year. So it might be another building year, frustratingly. Um, but I don't know. I think 5% is still quite a lot, to be honest. 5% is still going to make... A bit of a difference so i'm gonna go for minimal considering we're a team that's actually in the top kind of you know four or five bracket i think we'll go for minimal change and we can still make some gains on that like we have this year at least over one lap in the race our car is still a little bit iffy and now this scouting has been completed i'm pretty sure there we go so now we know uh what's gonna be what in terms of uh their contracts so also i thought i've completely forgotten oh god okay so normal scouting just lets us know about their performance and then the contract still like a bit of a wish wash i could probably go and guess this because they do have very high patience but performance wise then um well breaking's 87 for fernando alonso let's look at the specific braking capabilities of these two drivers breaking 81 alonso so much better on the brakes so much better on the brakes uh, smooth this as well for the tyres. 96 though for Ocon. Wow, Ocon's a very, very smooth driver. Alonso, what's what's he saying? Smooth this 83 only, but his braking's insane. That that's okay. That's the kind of different caveat here. I mean, the thing is, ideally, like in a in a future season, I want to sign like a proper star, future star of F1. You know, one of your Landos or Russells, Leclerc, Sainz. Um, you know, so maybe signing Alonso. Could be an interesting, like, you know, one-year, two-year holdover. Obviously, we can break his contract if we need to. Um, and just get him in just to get immediate results, you know? And he's driving for Alpha Tower, for goodness sake. Uh, Fernando Alonso, a uh, driver of his caliber, should not be driving for the junior Red Bull team. So I reckon... Just for the heck of it, just for some silly fun, let's get Fernando Alonso into an Audi. I'm going to try 7 million salary because I reckon he's actually not being paid a lot at Alpha Tauri. Starting bonus, don't want to go to the full 1 million, but I am willing to go to 1 million. Race bonus, first place 1 million because he's not going to be getting many wins. I mean, I think, you know, yes, Gasly got a couple, but that was also, remember, pre the patch. Post patch, we're really not looking like we're near to race wins yet so i'm happy doing the one million for first place two seasons he probably wants three but i'll try and swindle two he's got very high patience so we can do this maybe at least three different times and see where we end up so sending this first proposal happy with that happy with salary actually and he's happy with this which could probably mean we could have actually lowballed him a bit more with the salary, you know, or maybe even the starting bonus, but it's fine. We'll, we'll accept it. That's pretty good. So total uh, amount is going to be 13.2 million, which is more than we actually have in the bank. But you've got to spend money to make money and we'll make money by getting higher positions with Fernando Alonso. So do we risk it by going negative <laughs> and not being able to afford... Well, what happens? What happens if you go negative? Like, can I actually even do this? Break contract. If I confirm this, can I actually do this? Yep. Fernando Alonso is our brand new driver. And I am in negative 2 million. But we could earn that back in one race if we get the sponsor goals on. Right. Sponsor goals are making sure we maximize everything. Finishing position. Both drivers in the top eight, let's say. Let's just uh, let's be a bit, you know, cautious with those targets. But if we can do that, that will get us a decent chunk to getting out this two million debt. Right, 86% setup confidence with Gasly on this last run in FB3. Alonso was a bit quicker to get up to 80, but now we're trying to fine tune. But with Gasly, I actually went, I simulated FB1 in two, of course. I went down to like 
42. Then we brought it back here. The only weird thing was this used to be our best traction point, and now it's the worst one. So we need to somehow keep everything the same and get this down to this tiny margin. I think that should just about do it. Bring the anti-roll bar down a lot. I'm hoping that might be the sweet spot. And two minutes to go. We're going to run out of time to redo Alonso's setup. His best is 81 only. For whatever reason, I'm in season two, it seems to be a little bit trickier to nail down this setup. I don't know. It's slightly different, obviously. Better car, faster car. I don't know compared to season one. I think Gasly's on 86, the last one he had, which is not it's not bad it's not bad, but it's obviously not 90 that we're able to get quite a few times in season one. Um FB3, time wise, not really representative because we were just on hards the whole time. So let's see how quality goes. And if you hadn't noticed already, Bottas has just gone the other way. He is now driving for Alpha Tauri alongside Alexander Albon, which is a pretty exciting partnership, actually, to be fair for them. But yeah, we're the only team to be on hard, so really not too worried about the lap time there because we didn't even do any soft running. Gasly setup-wise, I didn't finish it, but I'm pretty sure this should be a good setup because we've got everything the same apart from we actually move this traction down to here. So I'm, I, I'm going to just take a risk and go for this into qualifying. With Alonso, we've gone back to his previous setup of 81%. Oh, I will be doing that because I don't want to risk it with him. 81. He's Alonso. He'll be able to drive through it. Simming Q1. Gasly and Alonso in the top five. Pretty good. 90% confidence now on this setup. Strangely, even though I reverted it. Okay, that's fine. 93 for Gasly. That's good. That's better. So ahead of Merck and not too far off Red Bull there. So over, over one lap, our car. I think it's, it's a Ferrari situation in real life. Our car over one lap is actually quite close to Red Bull and Ferrari now. But in the race, we still need to do work on the tyre wear, you know, trying to manage that better maybe. And then also the brake cooling has been an issue in terms of mistakes. But um, Alonso right on the money there with a Gasly, you know, very equally matched. I'm going to throw the dice here. I'm going to simulate Q3. Let's see what they can do with the simulation. Let's see if it can do any better than we've been doing manually so far in Season 2. Gasly P3, Alonso P6, but behind, you know, the two Ferraris are the ones between us. So that's actually awesome. So on the on the second row with Gasly, Alonso there, not too far off the Ferraris and, you know, three tenths quicker than the Mercs. So now we step in into the race and let's see what we can do from three and six. I'm excited. Right, race strategy wise, two stop, I think, here in Australia. And it's the perfect kind of two stop for us on the medium and hards. Avoiding the soft compound attire. I think I want to go for trying to set a pace target of going really aggressive here at the start. Then calming things down to get us to the end. Here we could probably go a little bit aggressive there. Maybe a little bit aggressive if you're on the hard tire coming in a bit earlier. I reckon that first compound we just try and blitz it. 17 laps. We obviously could go down. We will go down to aggressive just to manage it. But trying to get to about lap 14. Now we should have good weather for the race, and that will be welcome news for the teams. There we have Pierre Gasly. They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? And it's the second Alfa Romeo there. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalize on it? The race start is mere seconds away. Get ready for the Australian Grand Prix. Right, here we go. This is Fernando Alonso's debut for Audi. His first race in the team. Lights out. And away we go. Running on board with him. We can see Gasly up the road in third place. It's a good getaway from him. Can he do anything into turn one to maybe pinch at the Red Bull? He'll try and give it a good go. Alonso, meanwhile, has been overtaken by Hamilton. But he's on the inside. Surely he's going to squeeze Lewis out here. These two love a good scrap IRL and love getting at each other and jabbing each other verbally and on track. Hamilton on the inside, Lonzo on the outside. Surely squeezes him out here through the next right-hander. Come on, Fernando. Keep it. Keep the P6. I think he will do. Yep. Gasser remains in third place. So now we settle into a pattern in terms of tyre compounds. Everyone bar Schumacher now has uh, chosen... The medium tires. He's on hards, doing something a little bit different. But for now, I'm 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 quite confident with the medium tire strategy of medium hard medium. We just need to keep up pace, keeping the DRS with these guys. And uh, well, it's a bit difficult because obviously the advantage we had at Bahrain was people were trying softs. 
So that gave us the advantage of leaning on the mediums, going more aggressive. But now because everyone's a mediums, that kind of whole strategy of leaning on harder compounds works a bit less. But it's a good promising start from Gasly to be right up behind the Red Bulls. And Alonso is now creeping up to the back of Carlos Sainz. We've got Hamilton behind. Ocon splits the two Mercedes cars in uh, in the Alpine. But uh, the Ferraris look like they're maybe going to have a bit of a battle. So let's hope that maybe... Um, Alonso can get in the middle of it, but our engineer talking about cooling down the tyres for Gasly. Not right now. Right now, I want to give them at least three laps of pushing. Then we'll calm things down. I've overfueled them a little bit by 0.2 of a lap just to give them that extra fuel right now at this point in the race. Right, going overtake mode here. Lap two, DRS active the next lap. But let's see if we can try and get underneath the rear wing of what is Verstappen right now because Perez actually took the lead. Perez leads this Australian Grand Prix from Verstappen. No moves made for either Gasly or Alonso. So we're going to now bring this back down to neutral and we'll save it. Because basically for this first part of the lap, I don't think it's very effective, the ERS, compared to the AI. I think it's more effective down this entire back straight. So we're going to kind of leave it till that portion and actually harvest a little bit here as the Red Bulls are going side by side. And as they do that, we'll just harvest and then we'll go overtake mode now and see what we can do. And then Alonso overtake mode. He's coming onto that same part. Right, Gasly. Let's okay. see what you can do, mate. He is deploying okay. some ERS. We're gaining. But the two Red Bulls are still focused on each other. Maybe with DRS, could something happen? A little bit of a lift off for Gasly there. I heard on the engine. Do the left and then right. DRS will be activated. Let's see. Perez moving about. Perez closes the DRS. We close our DRS, unfortunately. And there is no move to be made. Alonso, will he make a move on the Ferraris? No. Right, going to calm things down now and go down to aggressive. Keep on the fuel, though. Right, the Ferraris got in the middle of this fight now. We're still nose to tail with the Red Bulls, but Leclerc has dived down the inside. He's been opportunistic uh, as soon as we go down to standard on the tyre pushing, and he's made the overtake. Is this the beginning of the end of our uh, pursuit of staying with this pack? Maybe not. Gasly trying something around the outside. Let's go for overtake mode now and get, try and get him back. And then with Alonso, let's try and just stick with these guys and pull it. Well, we are pulling yeah. away very much so for Hamilton. So that's at least good. You can, you're seeing that golf to Mercedes very much so. It's just about keeping up with these guys. You know, after the patch, it's a lot harder to do that because they're so much better on tyres. Gasly down the inside of Leclerc we're on harvest now, okay. but he's back into P3. Yeah. Leclerc though, I think probably deploying a little bit there as we went in harvest mode. Right, I'm going to go aggressive with Alonso, try and attack Sainz if we can. Come on, okay. overtake. Lovely, you're getting a bit okay. of a toe okay. maybe from the cars ahead. Copy. And he's up into P5. Solid stuff. Solid, solid stuff. And now he might even get Gasly, you know. He might get Gasly. Will he go for it? Alonso, first race. Down the inside, overtaking his teammate. And it's a good overtake. Is it going to get done? Yes, it will. Fernando Alonso flying in the Audi. Up into P4. Leclerc's going real gr crazy, though, because he's up into P2 now. It's Leclerc v Verstappen once again. Right, both of them have DRS. Alonso's gaining a bit. And up front... Leclerc going for a move on Verstappen. Oh, what a move that might be. Around the outside for Leclerc on Verstappen. Lap five, the Ferrari may take the lead here. They're side by side. They're going to hold each other up, hopefully, and kind of back into us, maybe. As uh, we have not got as much ERS as I want to for Fernando. We're going to keep on neutral for him. For Gasly behind. Oh, Alonso! Oh, Alonso! Alonso's up into P2! Oh, my God! What a move! What a man! What a legend! He's just overtaken! Gasly's overtaken! What is going on? Alonso up into P2! Gasly P3! I don't know what just went on. Leclerc and Perez just decided to have a nap. Let's look at this replay. Alonso doing a madness. They just slowed up behind Verstappen. Alonso just said, thank you very much, guys. And he's through. Love it. And then Gasly also slotted in. He just followed Alonso's line. And Alonso is now, hang on a minute, Alonso side by side with Verstappen trying to go for the race lead. Right. Oh, round the outside. Right. Overtake mode. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's go for this. Let's go for this. Let's go attack mode. Oh, overtake mode. Let's go aggressive with Gasly. And overtake mode for him as well, just to push on a bit. Let's go balanced on fuel now, though, for both drivers. But Alonso on heavy attack here. Ah, oh, DRS closes. Right. Let's keep that calm. Harvest then. Harvest. 
He might still go for a move here, even a harvest mode. And he will, but it won't be pulled off. But let's just play this clever in terms of saving ERS. Gasly's there holding up the Ferrari to allow us a bit of breathing room. Right, Gasly, I don't know if he'll go and move, uh, yeah. move on to Fernando. Fernando has ERS himself. And even the harvest mode will go past the Red Bull. Gasly will go past the Red Bull. And into turn one. This could be a one-two, you know. This could be one. It's uh, very early days, I must say. We've got so long this race to go. But right now, it's one-two. It's one, two. Alonso up into first. Gasly second. Alonso's still harvesting ERS. He's got so little ERS versus Gasly. So they may swap positions. They probably will because Gasly's on neutral here. If that does, that's calm. I'm not going to do any team orders right now. I'll let them race and see what's what, basically. But it's no tell stuff. And Verstappen's going to be lurking around if Gasly doesn't go for a move, maybe, on Alonso. Oh, this is close, close stuff. Gasly's getting a nice toe. Off Alonso onto lap eight. Verstappen sticking with us. Leclerc's actually fallen back a little bit. And there goes Gasly up into P1. Alonso will remain in P2. And now we'll probably have a chance to get back at him as the two are side by side briefly. But if they could just keep like this, just swapping positions, saving ERS, saving fuel as well, kind of technically behind each other and tyres as well. This is good. This is good. Right, main straight again. Will there be a swap over? Will Alonso be pulling through? Yes, he does. Up into first. Gasly. Where is the Red Bull? Ooh, he might just go for a move. Gasly shut the door, mate. Yes. Good stuff. Yellow flags in sector three. Sector three yellow flags. Gasly defending with all his might versus Verstappen. Car is spun and it's Joe Gran Yu in the Aston Martin. He has spun and locked up on turn 14, it looks like. Let's have a replay. Oh, he's actually battling a, a Williams car, but he goes straight on into the wall. So I need to use some overtake mode with Gasly here. Just try and close back up to Alonso because Verstappen's two tenths behind. We're seven tenths back from Alonso. So just trying to keep very much within range of that DRS to help us out. All right, again, they may swap positions here, very much so. Gasly pulls out with DRS. Alonso in the middle. Where is this Red Bull? Oh, he oh he shuts the door. Good, good. That's what we want. Shut the door on him every time. Oh, but Alonso. Oh, I fast forwarded for one moment. Alonso has now been overtaken by Verstappen. Let's look at a replay of that because I actually just missed that. But um, that was oh the second bite, the cherry of DRS. He didn't defend as well as Gasly did that previous time. All right, that's fine. Can we try and re-overtake him though? One lap to pit window. We've got so much tire wear left here. We've got so much tire left. Can you go for a move around the outside? Come on. Ooh, yo, 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 close. Right, I'm going to try and defend Verstappen here with defensive ERS. And then with Alonso, I'm hoping he can try and overtake. Let's see. Will Gasly be able to defend this versus Verstappen? First bit of the track, yeah. Next bit, not too sure. Oh, Verstappen down the inside. think that's it. I think that's the nail in the coffin, maybe. He's maybe got him. Let's see, Alonso's going to come through with DRS. Will he overtake Gasly on the outside? I think he will try to. We can't let Verstappen get away, though. We need to keep up with Verstappen. Okay, right. You need to make your mind up. Okay, cool. Right, let's go attack with both drivers. Balance on fuel, neutral ERS. I'll go overtake with Alonso for a bit. Let's actually try and harvest Gasly in a bit. Stay in DRS. We've got one. Our pit window's active, but we've not got the optimum lap yet. But we've got the tire wear to attack like this, so I think we should. But like, we definitely should. Gasly on the outside. DRS aided. It's that similar. This last sector is so difficult to overtake at. That right-hander, they try it, but it just never works out. But now, on the next straight, Gasly on the outside for the final corner. Can he get him? Come on. It's DRS open. Oh, there goes Alonso. Oh, Alonso's flown through into P1. Oh, the Ferrari's joined us, though. The Ferrari's maybe going to do exactly what Gasly did and follow cars through. All right, Science is locked up into turn 13, so I think he's down the order. P6 now. Alonso trying to defend Verstappen, but it's going to be very, very difficult here. But I'm trying one well, max attack, max fuel. That's going to just about allow Gasly to close up. This is the view. This is the view. Can Gasly do anything? He's on harvest mode as well, to be fair. We're both harvesting. This is calm. If it just stays like this, yeah. Stay like this. That's fine. Now Gasly has a good amount of ERS to actually maybe attack a little bit. Oh, I think Verstappen's going to go for it. Oh, good door shut. Good door slammed 
on Verstappen charge, there. Charge, Continue. Charge. No, Go don't let him down the inside. No, he's let him through. Alonso, no. You've opened the door up, sir. Gasly also opened the door up. Leclerc's having a go at us now as well. Right, neutral. Yeah, they're both on neutral. Right, let's see. Surely we have DRS now from Alonso for off Verstappen. Surely? Do we not have DRS? Oh, Gasly does. Alonso Stop shut it. his DRS. Oh, we just let Leclerc by. Right, Perez is overtaking Gasly now. Alonso's going to have a go at Verstappen up ahead, though. DRS. The stint is, well, it's it's a struggle right at the end of the stint here with a bit of tyre wear, it looks like. Gasly does remain in P4. 3-4 now. Leclerc and Verstappen again. Status quo has been put back into place. I think, do we pit Alonso now? Do we just pit him? I think I think we go for it. I think we stick to, uh, stick to our strategy, stick to our guns. Pit him in now for the hards. Save fuel, harvest DRS, and then let Gasly run because he's got a bit more tire wear. Actually, Box Gasly's got two percent more tire wear, so let's let him go on for on, on for that one more lap. It's an okay pit stop. The Verstappen covered us off. We both. Are, oh, look at the traffic though between me and Verstappen. Oh dear. Oh dearie dear. Okay. Um. Let's go on standard and conserve. Let's. Let's save some fuel here now, maybe. Actually, you know what? Oh, we t I need to actually be pushing as well, though. Oh, God. Yellow flag, sector one. What for? I don't know. I do not know. We're pushing oh, Gasly on this spin. stint now. Magnussen span. Alonso getting up some positions. Fighting the Haas. This is of Latifi. Can he get by? We're losing precious time to Verstappen up the road. Perez has just gotten Gasly. Oh, no. They're fighting for the lead. We're still going here. Tyres are degrading a bit, though. I think this may be the lap we pit now with Gasly. Having been overtaken by Perez, this may be the sign to pit now. Russell's crashed. Ooh, interesting. Right. Hards. Let's, Let's watch as Russell crash into turn two. Now, or is it going to be with here. his own teammate, maybe, or the Alpine? Let's see. Oh, okay. Locks up, goes into the wall, breaks his front wing. One less Mercedes to worry about, but we're not really worrying about them in this, in this race too much, to be honest. Meanwhile, Alonso... Alonso stuck in traffic. This has been a very shot, annoying, shot, shot, shot. very Alonso style pit Copy. stop scenario where we've pit him and he's in traffic and we've lost um, a significant amount of time to, to, to Verstappen, you know, about 1.5 seconds there. Gasly's coming out and he may come out ahead of all of them. Yes, he will. So going longer has helped Gasly. Right, Verstappen's going to try and make a move here. He might do, but this is this stint's really not about attacking. This is about just trying to get to the next pit stop, basically. So Alonso, once he's past these Alpha Tauris, then I'll kind of go and calm it down a bit. Alonso gets past Albon. He needs to get the get it get past Bottas now. ASAP. ASAP. Verstappen will overtake Gasly, that's fine. That's cool. We'll harvest. I don't you know. I don't know if we're going to be in a race with him fully to the end. We're going to see. But for now, we'll do what we can to stick with him. All right, Here's Gasly gets Verstappen. Even while this. saving the fuel, this is. DRS this being quite powerful through the final bend. Alonso's not keeping up with this as much. But he's not got as much battery. I'm trying to get him some more. I think we need to go maybe just a couple of couple of laps on harvest maybe but he's actually now behind both shot, red bulls because perez is pit and come out Copy. behind us so we're actually ahead of both red bulls with gasly which is very very decent Copy. gasly now p2 because science is pit and leclerc's pit so i think we're going to end up being in p1 as it stands it's right now but for how much longer leclerc comes out behind all three of us so gasly actually leads this Grand Prix, like legitimately leads it right now in this second stint. Whether we can keep keep doing this for the remainder of the race, I don't know. Right, yellow flag. Oh, multiple cars. I've got, and Gassi okay. just got squeezed out to no end there. What just happened? Dear, oh, oh, is it a safety car? Looks like we're going slow. There is a safety car. We just got over overtaken by the Red Bulls. But it's because of this incident right here. Williams versus Alpha Tauri. Big collision That's there big from the Williams and Alpha Tauri. So safety car is out. Ooh, yo, Could we pit under this safety car and go to the end of the hards? I think that's definitely something we should be doing with Lonzo. Is there, oh, we don't have another set of hards. Ah, damn it. How many laps are left? Oh, I'm pitting Alonso under the safety car onto the mediums that we're going on, going on to later. Just to see with a free pit stop. Could it be worth it? But Gasly, well, did the Red Bulls come in? They want to see this replay. What was that? Are the Rebels going to come in? No. 
We won't come in with Gasly. I'm going to follow them. I'm going to follow them. But Alonso will risk it. We're going to risk it onto mediums. Right, safety car coming in on this lap. Gasly P3 with now a hard tyre. He can absolutely just push on. And it's a good exit. Can we make a move on this lap? And meanwhile, Alonso, I've said attacking at the start here. But to be honest, we're going to calm things down and try and slow things down and get to the end of the race on this set of tyres with this track advantage we have. Gasly up into P2. I just missed that. But he overtook Verstappen. He's still fighting Verstappen, actually. On the inside. Come on, son. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Right, neutral here. Let's just try and keep with Perez if we can. I'm actually quite happy with Alonso. Like, I think he's in a good position. With Gasly, I think we had to stick with him because the double stat would have killed us. Oh, oi, oi, oi. Gasly gets very close there. Very, very close. We've got so much fuel to burn here. I might save some of it, though. I might save some of this fuel. I might get to... Once it's at plus 0 0.2, I'll save it for the last stint. But right now, liking this vibe. going to go harvest mode here just to stick with Perez until DRS is available. And Alonso overtook Hamilton on the outside of turn one. I'm going to put him on light now on conserve to make sure these mediums go the distance. And now DRS will be activated on this lap now, I think. So, or the next one. DRS enabled. Yeah, okay, next lap now. So we're just we're just harvesting and harvesting with Gasly. Right, new short, ERS, DRS open, and Gasly is gonna sling on through into P1. Charge off, charge off. And then I'll push 0.3. Okay, once that's 0.2, I'm gonna calm that down. Deal. But right now, let's see how far I can get. Gasly with the fast lap of the Grand Prix. That's good. We like to see that. He's pushing away. He's broken DRS from Perez. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Burn this fuel. Burn this fuel. Let's keep this DRS broken. Oh, Leclerc's get. Oh, Leclerc's rapid. That Ferrari's rapid. That Ferrari's rapid. He's gained on us here. Meanwhile, Alonso, P6. He's here on conserve. He's laughing right now. He's just taking his time. Right, we're still on this train now. Sit rep on lap 37. We're down to P3. Leclerc and Perez, the overwhelming pace coming through. Pit stop window is now open. So we will be coming in at some point for these mediums. Probably earlier than these guys because we've been pushing quite hard. But I think it's been worth it. Let's go overtake mode. Try and stick with Perez. Behind. Try and stay away from Verstappen as well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. These two swapping positions might help us. Right, we've got Perez around the outside. Can we keep that position through the next left-hander? Yes, we can. Good stuff. No, still battling. Still going. Deploy. Deploy ERS. Is that going to help? Come on. Right, I'm going to push Gassi now because I think the next lap is his pit window. So we'll come in. Lap 40, yeah. Lap 40 is his pit window. We've been overtaken by Verstappen in the pit stop. That's a bit frustrating. Uh, pit crew's been pretty weak, even though I've been improving them quite a lot. The whole, t the whole time I've been on, on the improvement for the for the tyre changes and the jacks. And it's still not okay, really, really done out. much for us. Right, Verstappen's got stuck behind Russell, Bottas, Ocon. So I'm hoping they back Verstappen up into Gasly. And we're kind of, we are gaining a bit visually there. Perfect. So I'm hoping it's only a matter of time. Fuel-wise, we're trying to bring that down to so just on balance the whole time. Alonso, he's loving life. We're saving fuel. We're saving tyres behind these guys. I don't know if they're going to pit or not. They might not. Which, to be fair, this strategy is still working then for Alonso because he's sticking with them on a one-stop. Uh, well, they're doing a one-stop, of course, and we've managed to stick with them with a two-stop here. But they're moving left, right, and centre. I just if they if they all three come in, we're laughing. And Gasly has indeed close right up to Verstappen. We're going to go conserve fuel here. Try and save some fuel behind these cars. But overtake mode. Let's try and get them if we can. Okay. Can we pull out and get Verstappen there? Yes, we can. Shoot one down the inside. Yes. Take a lot of curb. Keep, keep it going. Keep it going. And harvest mode into the next corner. Lovely. I think he's got him. Yeah, he's got him. Oh, Verstappen's okay, all got his nose in. Very good. No. Damn it. Right, we've got good fuel now. Overtake. Off, is he going to get stuck behind Russell? I think he is. Versta oh, Verstappen's got past these two. Gasly's gotten stuck behind them. This is very Abu Dhabi 2010 kind of levels of me and Verstappen getting stuck behind this much traffic. And therefore, we're nowhere near the top four here. And these guys are going to annoy us to no end. We need to get past them now. Right, I'm going to go. We've got 10 laps. Attack. Push. Need to get past them, man. Meanwhile, Alonso sticking with these guys. Probably can go balance now on fuel, to be honest. 
Right, Gasly finally gets past both those cars. He overtakes Bottas, overtook Russell as well. Finally around the outside to the inside of the last corner. Got Russell as well, I think, isn't it? Yeah, he's right behind us though, but we'll push away. Eight laps to go. Eight laps to go and these guys are not in yet. I reckon they're, yeah, they are doing a one-stop, surely. What's the tire wear levels like? Pretty similar tire wear le levels. So I'm going to wait till the last like couple of laps and then absolutely gun it and see if Alonso can get get a podium here. With Gasly, it's going to be tough. I think Ocon's going on. So it's just about even catch up to Ocon, overtake him for P7. May, you know, I don't think we're closing up to Verstappen because of that traffic. Kind of unfortunate. Me and Verstappen, just, uh, you know, with Gasly and Verstappen, we just both us teams have tried this two-stop. And maybe we should have just risked it with the one stop like Leclerc, Sainz and Perez. Right, lap 54. I feel like now's the time to pounce. Four laps to go. We go on attack or a pushing, I think. I think that's the vibe. We've got enough fuel for it, for sure. Right, go standard now. Lap 55. I think this is now our chance. Push hard now. This is our chance, I think. Okay. gassy has got Ocon, by the way. So up to P7. Come on, Alonso. Come on, Alonso. Right. Get him, get him. Overtake mode. Go, 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 go. This is it, this is it. Use overtake. Come on. No, don't get boxed in. Yes. Copy. Harvest here. Neutral. Harvest. Right, overtake mode again. Lap 56 onto 57. We're pushing away from the Red Bull. Come on, Alonso. Down the inside of one. Maybe two. Oh, it was side by side with Leclerc at the apex. Just couldn't quite get him. Couldn't quite get him. Right, this is it. This is it. Alonso's in a podium position, but can he get second or a win? Oh, I really want him. I really want him. I really want him to get the win. I really want him to get the win. I don't know if we'll ever do it or not. Right, it's the last lap of the GP. His tyres are on 30%. We all are. We've got to go for it. Attack mode. Overtake mode. Come on. Come on, Alonso. On the outside. Oh, he's got Sainz. He's got Sainz. He's got Sainz. Overtake mode again. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. P1. 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 Right. Now we need to defend. Oy, oy, oy. Right. Standard. Let's keep it going, Fernando. Keep it going. Deploy all the ERS. All the ERS down here come on we're gonna pull this off aren't we we're gonna pull this off take it nice and easy into the final few corners fernando keep this going keep this going as we come through the final two corners fernando alonso is a race winner once again in formula one and it's under the audi banner he wins the Australian Grand Prix in his first race for the team. Come on. Gasly fighting Ocon, the man I nearly, nearly signed to this team. I'm happy we got Fernando. And Gasly fends off Ocon to get P7. Whew. Wow. What a race. What a race. Gasly got unfortunate. In hindsight, we maybe should have done the same strategy for him as we did for Alonso. But I had to take a bit of a gamble, try a free pit stop because it seemed like the better strategy. But now we know, well, I mean, not doing the free pit stop uh, and then doing the two stop afterwards because we had so, so much of the race to go. But Alonso showed sitting behind all those cars, just conserving tyre for the whole race, conserving fuel the whole race. It paid off big time, big time. But uh, Gasly only got one position lower than he did last race. That's still a very solid race, actually. And Hamilton just got up there because of one less stop, basically. But Alonso, what a man. What a man. What a flawless weekend here from Fernando Alonso. His team must be proud. Never have a team been more deserving of a podium. Everyone must be ecstatic. And the talented veteran rounds off another great drive, adding to his impressive F1 podium tally.
Alonso winning in his first race for the team. Up into fifth place in the Drivers' Championship. Already ahead of Gasly, actually, with that one result. But that will help us get third place back in the Constructors' Championship. Push away a little bit from Mercedes. And um, if we keep this up, we can start chipping away and really start to build on this like that. But that was an insane, insane race from Fernando. Still a very solid, solid one from Gassi as well. P7 could have easily been P6 or P5 had we have not got stuck in so much traffic. That was the real issue. And also with the sponsor bonuses, we've earned uh, 3.7 million. So we are, you know, I, th I think, are we fully out of debt? Let's see from signing Fernando. Yes, we are. 1.6 million. So, as I've said before many times in manager games, you've got to spend money to make money. We spent the money on Alonso. We've earned... We're back into the green, and I'm sure we'll earn way more money now with Alonso and the results, if he keeps that kind of thing up. But, obviously, that was also a bit of 200 IQ plays, strategy plays under the safety guard. Not just all him, but he did so well to, like, save the tyre at the end when I was just telling him to. So, that was brilliant. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, Episode, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And you're out here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.